Hello and welcome to Mahindra Guru and you are watching the video DG page of maths. Today we are going to discuss for SBI exams and today's topic is multiplication. As you all know that SBI clerical exams, in SBI clerical exams simplification will play a crucial role. So keeping this thing in our mind, today's our topic is multiplication as you all know that in simplification multiplication always there and it plays a crucial role so here it is the first one you can say the first rule of the multiplication is unit digit and difference 10 rule which means if both number unit digit is 5 that means what we have given if we have given two numbers and the unit digit of two number is 5 and the difference between the two number is 10 so how we will multiply we will multiply as follow for example if we take a number 35 the another number is 45 you can see here the rule says that the unit digit should be 5 you can see the unit digit should be 5 and the difference between two number should be 10 otherwise rule will not follow what i say the unit digit should be 5 and the difference between two number should be 10 Right, so unit digit is 5 and the difference between two number is 10. So how we will calculate or how we will solve this multiplication, what we have to do? In this condition, 75 will always come. In this condition, 75 will always come. And where we get 75? We get 75 from 100 minus 5 square that will be equal to 75. So what I say, 75 will always come come and now 35 into 45 75 will always come so what we have to do you can see this 3 and this is 4 this 3 and this is 4 in 3 and 4 which one is bigger 4 is greater than 3 so what we have to do we have to add 1 in bigger number so if we will add 4 if we will add 1 in 4 we will get 5 and we have to multiply this 5 into 3. So, what we will get? We will get 15. So, our answer will be 1575. I am repeating again. If the unit digit is 5 and the difference between two number is 10, 75 will always come. And the next thing, in 4 and 3, we have to check which one is greater. In the greater number, we have to add 1 and then we have to multiply the smaller one. We will get here 15. So, our answer will be 1575. So, let us take one more example. We have to multiply 35 into 25. How we will multiply? You can see the unit digit is 5 and the difference between two numbers is 10. So, 75 will always come. Right? Now, 3 and 2. Which one is bigger? 3. So, what we have to do? We have to add 1 in the bigger one. So, if we will add 1 in 3, it will be 4. And what we have to do? This 4 will be multiplied by 2. We will get 8. So, answer will be 875. So, this is the easiest mean. You can say by using this type of things, we can multiply without using pen and paper. Now, move to our next example, which is based on the same rule. If multiply 45 into 55 how we will calculate easily you can see the last digit is 5 and the difference between two number is 10 rule will follow what is rule 75 will always come right and 5 and 4 which one is bigger 5 is big 5 is bigger than 4 what we have to do we have to add 1 in the big bigger one and then multiply by smaller one so if you will add 1 in 5 it will become 6 into 4 which is equal to 24 so our answer will be 2475 you can see it is the easiest things you can apply in your examination so now move to our next example 105 into 115 now, 105 into 115 the same thing we will do in this question as well what we have to do the last digit is 5 then we have to check the difference between is 10 or not you can see the difference between those these two number is 10 so rule will follow what the rule say 
75 will always come and 11 and 10 which one is greater now you say 11 and what we have to do we have to add one in the bigger one if you will add one in 11 it will be 12 into 10 how much 120 so you can see our answer will be 12075 so we have discussed if such type of multiplications we have given in the examination in this process we can calculate easily now move to our next tool the next rule is multiplication of two consecutive number. Firstly, we will discuss what is consecutive number. Now, consecutive number you can say as the name consecutive. That means you can see 3 and 4. 3 and 4 are the consecutive numbers which means 4 always comes after 3. So, these are the consecutive numbers. So, what we have to do? We have to multiply those numbers which are consecutive. For example, 76 into 75 these all these are consecutive number so what is the formula if if you find such type of multiplication in your examination the formula will be a smaller number square and plus smaller or you can say if the multiplication of two consecutive number the formula will be greater number square minus greater number or it may be smaller number plus smaller number square plus smaller both are same thing so if you follow this formula what we will get you can see 76 into 77 and we have to multiply 76 into 77 so what we will do we will square the smaller number which is 76 square and 76 square which is equal to 5776. What formula say? This is the square of the smaller number and we have to add the smaller one. So if we will add this 76 into in 5776, we will get 5 in 5852. So our answer will be 5852. Let us take one more example. One more example is 38 into 39. Both are consecutive number and what our formula say you have to square the smaller one and add the smaller one right so what we will do 38 into 39 this the square of the smaller one and that is 38 38 square which is equal to 1 triple 4 and you have to add 38 so what you will get you will get 1482 now one thing is coming in our mind how we are calculating the square easily this thing i will clear you in the next video lecture so just what you have to do if you find such type of multiplication in your examination what you will do you have to square the smaller one and add the smaller number or you can say square the greater number or subtract the greater number from that number right so let us take one more example 87 into 88 now you will tell how we will multiply 87 into 88 the formula is 87 square plus 87 all right 87 square is what 87 square which is equal to 7569 right 87 square is, which is equal to 7569 and we have to add 87 as well so if we will add 87 in this number we will get 7576 Five, six. So, our answer will be 7656. Six. Now, you can see it's a very easy process in which we can multiply easily. You can say without using pen paper, we can multiply the numbers. Right Now, move to our next example which is based on the same rule that is 112 one, into 113 one, and these are also the consecutive numbers. So, what we have to do, we have to follow the same pattern that we follow in the previous one. 112 into 113 how we will calculate the smaller number is square and we have to add the smaller one so 112 square is equal to 125 double 4 as we all know that 125 double 4 the square of 112 and we have to add 112 as well so if we will add 112 we will get 12656 our answer so this is the rule which say if you get the two consecutive number and you have to multiply the consecutive number the formula is 
smaller number square plus smaller number. Now move to our next rule. The next rule is multiplication of two consecutive even and odd. In the previous one we discussed the consecutive number and now it is consecutive even or consecutive odd. Now what is the formula? You can see what is consecutive even and what is consecutive odd. Consecutive even numbers means like 2 and 4. These are the consecutive even number and what is consecutive odd? 3 and 5. That means we have to multiply those numbers which are consecutive odd or which are consecutive even. You can see 117 into 119. These are the consecutive odd number and we have to multiply this 117 into 119. How we will multiply? The rule is the rule is if you have to multiply the consecutive even and consecutive odd, the formula is middle number middle number square and minus 1. Again repeating the formula is middle number square minus 1 which means if you have to multiply 117 into 119. What is the what is the middle number? Now tell me the middle number is 118. And what our formula say? Our formula say you have to square the middle one and minus one. So if you will square of 118, you will get 118 square is equal to 13924. This is the square of 118, and we have to minus one. So, if you will minus 1 from 13924, you will get 13923. So, it is a very easiest way to multiply the consecutive odd number or consecutive even number. Now, take one more example. Things will be clear. 38 into 36. These numbers are consecutive even number. Now, we have to multiply 38 into 36 and we know that this is a consecutive even number. So, what is our formula? Our formula says that the square of the middle number and minus 1. Now, what is the middle number in between 30 and 36? The middle number is 37. So, 37 square which is equal to 37 square which is equal to 1369. Alright, 37 square which is equal to 1369 and remember we have to minus 1. So, if you will minus 1 from 1369, you will get 1368. So, our answer will be 1368. Now, let us take one more example. We will solve this example directly. You can say without using pen paper, we will solve this question. How we will solve? Let's see. 87 into 89, we have to multiply. 87, 89, we have to multiply. And the rule is, both numbers are consecutive odd number or you can say it may be even. So now in this case both number are consecutive odd number. What is our formula? Formula is middle number square and the middle number between 87 and 89 is 88 and the square of 88 is double seven double double seven double four and what we have to do we have to minus one so, if you will minus 1 from double 7, double 4, you will get double 7, 4, 3. So, now in this way, we can calculate the multiplication if we have given the two consecutive number or two consecutive odd number or you can say even number. So, this is, you can see one more example. Let us take one more example, 114 into 116. We have to multiply 114 into 116. Now, how you will multiply? Now, you will tell me. 114 into 116. The middle number is 115. And we have to square 115. 115 which is equal to what? 13225. And we have to minus 1. So, if you will minus 1 from 13225, you will get 13224. So, the answer will be 13224. So, now, this is what for today's DPP, today's VDP. Thanks for watching us and you can subscribe on us www.youtube.com.